the electronics of this new motor controller for these Panasonic hub motors is pretty much finished. So that's a ten dollar hall sensor regulator and the linear voltage regulator LM317 that was getting too hot so I replaced it with such a LM2596 uh, mo module and this time I also added a uh, this is going to for 14 volts for these uh, MOSFETs and then I still added a tiny uh, another voltage regulator which goes down from 14 volts to 6.5 and the 6.5 here going to the uh, Arduino uh, mini uh, from the to the raw input for the motor controller and for the display here that's also the raw input so both uh, Arduinos make their 5 volts uh, themselves yeah, it's my main that don't need to explain all these. Uh, there should be better better connectors that cannot rip apart. So here is uh, 20 amp hall sensors. There's a potentiometer to get the 36 or 42 volts down to 5 volts to measure the, the battery voltage. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite uh, the as a heat uh, pa paste, conducting paste that I replace from here to there, put a bit of captain on it so that I can um, simply take uh, this thing apart and it does not stick uh, because it, this is very sticky underneath. And the trick is that there is uh, 43 millimeters of, of rubber uh, underneath and these, this rubber uh, it goes somewhere here and then when you mount put the top uh, the cover uh, onto the bottom then these MOSFET get pressed into these uh, heating paste so you also see here uh, the footprint of these three six MOSFET yeah this is the uh, torque sensor several sheets of Kepton three four five sheets to make an insulation uh, isolation here electrical five for the serial because it, I need a DTR and two for the I2C communication between uh, this Arduino and that Arduino which is really uh, no problem so far and to, <laughs> this is the original display from from the, the flyer and so I simply <laughs> with a saw uh, cut it apart and these all these switches uh, going to the Arduino Mini, then they have a six to six uh, mini prototype board. There is a, a P channel MOSFET underneath to, to get the display on from this 1.8 inch. Uh, this <laughs> is a, a temperature humidity ITC sensor because I needed uh, some to pull up uh, resistors, so I simply took this one. So yeah, the display uh, a bit modified here, so it fits. It fits right here into that, and then you can simply oops, connect the display. And so here, get it inside. So you can have here, and then here, this is a rubber. So when you put it in, it's really so the last two millimeters really will press the mouse patch onto the back of the side. Okay. If you don't have a plier to to unmove this, I simply put a, a plastic ring here so it won't fall apart. So here the final 
Panasonic open source drive to serial ports here with DTR to flash the Arduino Mini, Arduino Mini inside. And here, well, okay, let's turn it off again. <laughs> because when you turn it on, then please don't move the paddle. And so now below you see that we get it a bit. Yeah, that's a torque here. And so this is a assist mode, that's the speed. Here's a voltage of the battery, the current amp and uh, amperage of the battery, well, that's the temperature and the humidity. I have also the developer mode here. So this is a torque currently, that's a torque when uh, it's no pedal. So the, here again the assist, uh, this is the speed uh, to the motor. So now on the street, no pedal. And so let's do some driving. So you can see the paddling. Now I put a bit of brake so the motor needs more power. Okay, stop. See, see, paddling is easily detected. Let's go to the developer mode. It's because then you can see the torque is to the upper left and the stop torque is to the right. So if I not put a bit of pressure, yeah, that's really safe. <laughs> 